This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 2. For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh Shem Shai so cometh as a thief in the night. For when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Shalom to the elect and the one third of the children of Israel, double honors to the teachers and the head apostles of the great Mestan Ruel. Peace and salutations to the Alkim who are pushing out this work with true sincerity. Also, Brakatha to the Akwafi who are listening as well. This is Prophets in Babylon, Tampa Bay, Florida. We want to get into this, uh, uh, you know, few topics that came out this week, okay? Um, the, uh, 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 the 10 week uh, shortage of wheat, you know, of all, uh, of, of all around the world, the school shooting in Texas, of 19 people getting killed, all right? There's multiple uh, articles that we wanna bring out, you know? So, the, so policies are popping up and the, love of, uh, um, and the love of many shall wax cold, all right? So things are going to uprise in wickedness, okay? So an evil and only evil shall come. So, repeat the precept again, Bob Bishaw. This is the book of 1 Thessalonians chapter 5 and verse 2, and it reads, For yourselves know perfectly that the day of Yahweh Shem Shai so cometh as a thief in the night. So, so, for yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord shall come as a thief in the night. Okay? We know perfectly that the Lord's coming back. Not a lot of people know that the Lord's coming back. Okay? Before the love, uh, um, before Yahweh Shemasha comes back, you no, know, Yahweh Shai coming back in the white chariot, uh, on the white horse, okay? He's gonna, uh, before he comes back, there's gonna be utter chaos, okay? And I, uh, today I was on the phone uh, with my father who raised me, you know, like during my childhood, I was on the phone because he's a Christian pastor of the Haitian Baptist Church. And I was on the phone with him he said, do you believe the church has to go to the tribulation? And I said, yes, you know? And uh, he's like, no, no, oh, like there's no way because you know, he's stuck in that, uh, um, those, uh, you know, like Esau's philosophies. So he doesn't believe that the church would not go through the tribulation. He believes that they will be um, raptured up in the sky. No, that's a lie, you know? So let's get the scripture. Okay. The much tribulation shall you enter the kingdom of heaven. So let's bring that out real quick. So this is the book of Acts, chapter 14, verse 22. Confirming the souls of the disciples, exhorting them to continue in the faith. And that we must, through much tribulation, enter into the kingdom of the Most High. So the Lord purposely made the elect to be in the belly of the beast because the because the majority of the elect is here in america all right and he purposely did that so we can go much um like go through much tribulation to enter the kingdom of heaven because the, the that's a part of the lord chastisements according to hebrews chapter 12 verse 5. so we're going to witness prophecies we're going to witness uh signs in the heavens all right the moon and the sun everything man we're going to mention uh like the lord mentions all these things in the scriptures okay he, he mentioned all these things in the scriptures we're going to witness everything all right we're going to witness this kingdom be at the highest peak of wickedness until it reaches to the heavens okay you know and the school shooting which i like to bring out real quick it says Texas gunman said he was going to shoot up school. So you um you Valde, Texas, the gunman who massacred 19 children and two teachers at an elementary school in Texas warned in online messages sent minutes before the attack that he had shot his grandmother and was going to shoot up a school. The governor said Wednesday. Salvador uh, Ramos 18 used an AR-15 style 
semi-automatic rifle in the bloodshed Tuesday at Rob Elementary School. All right, so there's nothing new. These things happen all the time, man. Kids, like, uh, kids uh, who get bullied, who get made fun of, you know what I'm saying? And then one day, you know, they're plagued by heavy demons. They get a gun or a weapon and they come by the school and start killing people. Be prepared to see more of these things. Be prepared to see more events like um, the Buffalo shooting. Be prepared to see all these things, man, at a higher level. More people are going to be stressed. More people are going to be uh, backed up to a corner. They're going to start robbing people in broad daylight. More people are going to be doing that. You know what I'm saying? More people are going to start robbing uh, banks, you know, shooting up schools, shooting up events. People, you know, because people are becoming more stressed. They have no comforter, okay? Apparently, this man, you know, he looked like a, a, a cross-dresser, you know? He looked like a cross-dresser and looked like he got bullied, and they said he had a, a, a speech problem. So he must have so he must have got bullied at his school and he took out the anger by shooting up an elementary school. The Lord plagued him with demons to do that. Okay? The Lord plays both sides, the right hand and the left hand. That's why he is called the great and terrible power. According to Nehemiah 1 and 5 and, Deut and, and Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 17, Psalm 66 and 5, and Hebrews 10 and 31. You know? It's a fearful thing to fall in the hands of the living power. So he's controlling both sides. That's why we must fear the Lord. We must cleave on to the Lord. Or we're going to be caught up in his uh, left hand angels, his death angels, you know, that he's going to put on these people to do his, um, to do his work on the, um, on the left hand side. So be prepared to see more events like that, you know? So, and also we want to mention the uh the article of the you know shortage of the wheat uh, before we get into that though i got a precept go ahead, go ahead this is the book of psalms chapter chapter 68 and verse 20 it reads he that is our power is the power of salvation mm -hmm. and you know salvation is what everybody's seeking for you know even the so-called christians right now the modern day christians they talk about salvation the brother just brought it out he was saying that they think they'll be saved in that rapture period okay but this is telling you about who who is salvation all right so he that is our power is the power of salvation and unto yahweh bashem yahweh shai all right the lord which is our lord belongeth the issues from death so the only way you're going to be saved from death is through the mercies of yahweh bashem yahweh shai man and that's our power that we call on all right because we call on the name of yahweh yahweh shai man yahweh shai means he saves he delivers all right, in the paleo Hebrew. So with that school shooting, those people that, you know, perish, as it says in Job, who perish being innocent, God. not anyone, all right? So that happened for a reason, all right? And we are seeking to be saved and delivered in any troubles, all right? Just like it says in Job chapter five, it says, he will deliver thee in six troubles, and yea, the seventh trouble shall not touch thee, and seven goes into completion, all right? So when all hell breaks loose, there's gonna be plagues, all right? There's going to be famines, pestilence, which is diseases. They're already talking about that one disease, what, monkeypox or whatever it's called. Oh. You know, they're always coming up with new diseases and new things, you know, oh. strands. That's right. You know, but that's just to put fear in the people. Because right. fear is a demon, all right? That's why the pandemic, you know, when they had that, that was to enforce fear on the people as well so they can submit. All right? Because Esau Edom works on the left-hand side. So they are here to enforce fear. And as it says in Isaiah 33 and 6, wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of that time. So if you have that wisdom, which is the scriptures and the understanding of the scriptures, you will not be in fear as you're walking in these times. You'll be circumspect, okay? Right. Because the times are very evil. God, and, and fear is very contagious, you know? God. And I've seen, you know, even this brother and, and, you know, and, uh, and all these people, we've seen fear in these people, man. We've seen fear when the, during the trial of the first lockdown. We seen fear. We seen people wear masks inside their vehicle by themselves, driving to wherever they were about to go. They're wearing a mask inside the vehicle with nobody in it. There's still people wearing masks while they're running still to this day. You know, me and the brother seen that the last time we were uh, doing a, 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 you know, a, you know, a class by the lake, uh, the other lake that we were at. 
so these people are 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 absolutely destroyed right now man so how much more when they implement the karagma okay you know and uh um, and also back to uh, like to my conversation, like with my father, you know, my earthly father, you know, I told him that all this is going to lead to the uh, like, like like all these events are going to lead to the the, the karagma. Uh, you know what I'm saying? So like he, he believes that the church won't go um, won't have to go through the hour of temptation, which is the tribulation period. Yes. So I say like, the church is gonna the church is gonna you know like. Uh, like in his mind is the like in his mind the church is the Christians, but oh well, you know, but what I was trying to explain to him, but you couldn't comprehend was the elect. You know, I that's why I mentioned Revelation seven, the elect, uh, um, the hundred forty four thousand. So he didn't under really he, he didn't really understand that. But I said the church, you know, the church, you know, will have to go through it to enter the kingdom of heaven. Okay. So we will witness a famine a few months from now. Mm -hmm. We we will witness it. We will witness going to a, a, a local Walmart or a Sam's Club and they're going to ration noodles. They're going to ration bread. They're going to ration certain foods that you can't double up on. And we and, and 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 I seen that with my own two eyes back in 2020. So the bread stores, they ration the bread. Sam's Club, they ration the noodles, the spaghetti, the wheat. So how much more when there's no more wheat after those ten, um, like after those ten weeks, which is about seventy days, which I did my research on, which is seventy days. So we have seventy days left. It could, uh, it, it could go up or it could go down. Lord's will, it goes down so we can get closer to the kingdom. Con, I got you the script. I mean, the um, article on that. Con. All right, and this article talk, um, on, it was, I believe, News 27 or 29 or something like that. It was one of the news articles. The title reads, World has 10-week supply of wheat, experts tell you in secret council. This is seismic. So seismic, you know, goes into a growing, you know, disaster. All right, just like how it's used for earthquakes. You know, how earthquakes, you know, they spread out. All right based off of how much you know power is in it all right so as this is talking about it's seismic it's trying to say how you know enormous of a problem this is going to become okay as the days progress all right going on in the article it says russian's invasion of ukraine did not start a food security crisis but it did add okay so as we're seeing wars and rumors of wars, nations rising against nations, we're understanding the times that we're in. We're measuring the times diligently in itself, okay? And that's how we measure the times, through the scriptures, okay? But they're saying that the food, which is, um, this food um, shortage is contributing to the famine. And it's all because of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah. Everybody else don't understand the power of Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shah, man. They try to make it their own will or something of what's going on and that's what makes them sound ignorant but we have to since it's an article we have to read what they're saying they said did not start a food security crisis but it did add fuel to a fire that was long burning said sarah minker ceo of grow intelligence this isn't cyclical which means regular this is seismic all right so it's you know enormous you know and it's growing more and more all right to become a problem Minker said during a special meeting of the UN Secret Council, of the UN Secret Council. UN Secret Council. Look at that. Go on. <laughs> Go ahead. Even if the war were to end tomorrow, our food security problem isn't going any. So like it isn't going away anytime soon without concerted action. So you know they got to take action. Revelation 12 and 12. You know how the devil shall come down with great wrath because he knows that he has but a short time. So they understand that they're trying to push out unrighteous decrees and laws and legislation, all right, to try to prevent all, you know, these prophecies from happening. But that was their lot to do that. The Most High got them in a derision, man. All right, they think that they got a solution when it's not. It's just their lot to enforce these things to cause even more fuel to the fire, That's as right. they say, okay? But continuing, it says, before the Russian-Ukraine conflict began, the two countries supplied a combined 
one third of the world's wheat exports and were in the top five exporters of corn. Mm -hmm. Coupled with the with widespread fertilizer shortages, supply chain issues, and record droughts, the world has about 10 weeks worth of wheat on hand, Minker said. All right, so 10 weeks, all right? And it's talking about uh, the shortages with the supply chain issues, fertilizer, record droughts, all those things contri contri um, contribute to the uh, famine. And when it's saying, uh, also it says um, record droughts, all right, we see a drought in the Mississippi River, all right, which is actually the spirit, if you see it spiritually, the Euphrates River, all right, wow. drying up because we're back in Babylon again. So the Euphrates River that's over there, you know, in Iraq and Syria, you know, we're in the land of our in the land of our captivity again in Mystery Babylon the Great. All right. So the the night the huge river here is the Mississippi River. Just like how that huge river down over there in Iraq and, and um Syria and all those places beautiful, beautiful. is um um Salakia is um what is called Euphrates, man. All right. So that's showing you that this drought also contributes to prophecy, man. Okay, so we're seeing a, a drought in the rivers as well, mainly Mississippi. All right, continue. It says UN Food Chief David Beasley warned the Secret Council that the war in Ukraine has created an unpredicted crisis of escalating food prices that are already sparking protests and riots and growing hunger. So we're seeing riots and growing hunger of, of the people already over in the other countries. Imagine what it will be in mystery. Babylon the Great, which is so called, which is called America, with the people that have the Second Amendment rights to bear arms with the sword, man. Mm -hmm. Esau's blessing, man. So imagine how bad it's gonna be then with people protesting here, and you know how I say in those, uh, what is it called, those um, advertisements? It says you are not you when you're hungry. Yeah, because you're gonna have a demon take full control over you, man. That's right. When you're hungry, and you're gonna uh. you're gonna be given on to your own wicked lust and um, fleshly desires, man. Mm -hmm. And you're gonna be trying to go all out um, with no stability in your mind and just do whatever thy will, man. Because that's that's your doctrine, man. All these people that follow the Christianity, modern Christianity doctrine, it's do what thy will. So we're gonna see people going into other people's houses, robbing, you know, not having no rules, regulations, and standards, man. God. And also, there's other countries promoting, um, uh, like feed, uh, like feed the people commercials and they mention america china has commercials of america saying that we must feed america you know due to the, the lack of this this and this now why would china have a commercial of america you know being uh uh because america is suffering a, a food crisis why would china promote that at their country and also other countries promote that as well for America, feed America, feed the people of America. You know, go on YouTube and look that up. They have commercials for America because people are suffering to eat. You know, so that's that, that's crazy. That's crazy. But guess what? That's going that's going to be a a huge reality in all fifty states. Uh -huh. You know, and then, and then sooner or later you're going to see states divide each other from one another. Just like the movie Bushwick, you know, certain states are going to team up to stay the way they are, while other states are going to, uh, like, diminish or they're going to come together to fight the other states. So it's going to be a huge division. It's no longer going to be called United States. It's going to be divided states. Everyone's going to uh, like fight against each other. It's going to be civil war out here. It's going to be civil war. It's going to be race wars. All right. You know, it's, uh, you, you know, and, and, and people are going to start, you know, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be straight madness out here, man. Go on. Go I ahead. got a precept. This second Ezra chapter 15 and verse 19, a man shall have no pity upon his neighbor, but shall destroy their houses with the sword, which is weapon mm -hmm. and spoil their goods because of lack of bread and for, and for great tribulation. Right. So for lack of bread, which is food shortages, you're going to see it on the rise. And also it's going to go into manifest the famine, man. All right, you're going to see it in full fledged of the famine. So people are not going to have control of themselves because you're not you when you're hungry. When they're hungry, they're going to not be able to sustain themselves. And they're going to oh. do whatever it, they, it takes to get that food, man, for lack of bread. And also it says for great tribulation, which shows you 
you you people that go flock to those churches that there's gonna be great tribulation man all right it just said it it said for great tribulation that people are gonna be going all out with no common sense man they're gonna lose all what they have you know all because of these plagues that's coming to america Con, and, and the most dangerous places to be at is at a at a whorehouse local church because 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 you know because these church buildings are whorehouses okay they're harlots all right going to the mall going to all these big huge uh overpopulated uh, areas the, the overpopulated right. areas man because who's going to be there it's going to be gangs it's going to be militant uh soldiers it's going to be large groups of people like cults of all kinds you know what i'm saying because you know like people are going to start teaming up with each other some people are going to team up with their own kind you know just like those movies man just like uh uh purge you know like the movie purges or like you know like all the purge movies they're gonna start teaming up they're gonna uh work together and whatever they're about they're gonna be about it you know because what they're hungry they're stressed you know <laughs> it's gonna you know it's 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 gonna be very scary out here man it'll be much tribulation to enter to enter into the kingdom of heaven man you know uh, and in second ezra chapter 9 around the 22nd verse it says let the multitude die that pair that um was born in vain man so you know there's plenty of people that the most High has set for death and destruction man oh, i got it right here god okay okay uh, second uh it's a different precept second ezra chapter 8 verse 3 there have been many created but few shall be saved. Come on. Just like the times of Noah. All right. The Lord only saved eight people of the entire world. Eight people, including Noah himself, to be put in the ark with all the um, animals, with all the beasts of the field. Okay. He did all that because those people were wicked. And he warned them. You know, he put the spirit on Noah to build that ark and to prophesy for over a hundred years and people mocked and scoffed noah and then the lord made everybody go to that boat all the uh, like, uh, like all the beasts of the field and the eight people and he sealed it the chariot sealed the door so noah can go in and then started raining and then flooding he flooded the entire world and killed everybody in the sea man so how much more in this time? This time is going. It's only going to be the remnant of the children of Israel, according to Romans chapter nine, verse twenty-seven. You know, Israel being the sand of the sea, but a few shall be saved. Okay, the one hundred forty-four thousand and the remnant, women and children, and plus, uh, it could be men within the remnant as well of the one-third. You know what I'm saying? Be besides the elect. But after that, man. That's a wrap, man. We're in the kingdom, you know. And, lo and Lord's will, we do this will, you know. We're, you know, we're truly sincere, like we always do, and hope, and hope that we get saved, you know, because we are prisoners of hope, you know. It, it's it, it, it's going to get tougher, brothers and sisters. It's going to get tougher out here, man, you know. So learn to adapt, you know, like the word adapt, been uh, circling around for quite some time for the past couple of weeks. Like from some from some brothers teaching it, adapt, man. When the when the when the gas prices go to six to ten dollars, uh, all right. Adapt when you see twenty piece chicken wings for thirty bucks. When you see a gallon of milk for fifteen dollars, adapt. The Lord will work with you. He will work with you if you work with Him. You know what I'm saying? So abide in Him, and He will abide in you. you know your house shall be in the true vine, all right, and uh. And the Heavenly Father being the husbandman. We can't live without Yahweh Bashim Yashai. Uh, I got a precept. This is the book of 2 Ezra chapter 9 and verse 7. And everyone that shall be saved and shall be able to escape by his works and by faith, whereby ye have believed. Faith without works is dead. So the only way you're going to have this belief is based off of the works that you've been doing during this grace period, man. All right. The more you draw closer to Yahweh Hashem Yashar, the more Yahweh Hashem Yashar will draw closer to you, man. Uh -huh. All right. And that's the whole purpose of this grace period is for you to get right, not for you to sit on your ass and use it as a liberty to sin. 
all right, and to despise the word of Yahweh Hashem Yahushai, okay? Continuing though, it says, verse 8, shall be preserved from the said perils, which is troubles, anguish, calamities, all right, that's coming to this earth, and shall see my salvation. So everybody's talking about salvation, you know, but they don't understand that you have to be saved by what? Your works and your faith, whereby ye have believed, okay? Continuing, it says, in my land and within my borders, for I have sanctified them for me. And as it's written, sanctify them but through thy truth. Thy word is truth, roughly paraphrasing. So you need the word to be sanctified. And it's predestined. It says, from the beginning. So, you know, Yahweh Hashem Yahshua declared the end from the beginning, man. All right? So he's the author and finisher of our faith, man. You know, so that's all we can do is just hope to be part of that number and that remnant that's going to be saved and hope that we have a lot of a prophet, man, and to fulfill what's written for that prophet to fulfill, man. Just like how Yahweh Shai said, he did not come to destroy the law, but to fulfill, okay. all right? So we just gotta make sure we um, hope that we are in the right-hand side of the Heavenly Father and we're under, you know, his protection, man, to be preserved God. in the times, man. God, his grace is, his grace is sufficient for thee. God. His grace is sufficient for thee, meaning his grace is enough for us to get right his grace is enough man his grace is enough to uh know you know like uh so so we can correct ourselves to truly love our brothers you know to uh to truly offend him less you know to truly uh to choose life we want to choose life the flesh reap with corruptions but it but once you sow it with the spirit you reap life everlasting so you have to choose life this is all we got, man. We choose life. We don't choose death. We we already know what death is. We already know what death is. Because we were because, because we were once dry bones. And now the Lord gave us this living water, this truth. So we can understand, okay, now I know better. Now I want I want life. I don't want to go through what the two-thirds are about to go through. So we're going to do all that we can in this grace period to do right before the Lord's eyes. Because the Lord's eyes is 10,000 times brighter than the sun. Mentioned in the book of Syrah. Okay? Calm. So we're going to do all that we can to the best of our ability according to the faith that has been given to us, you know, as individuals. Because some brothers have different sizes of faith than other brothers. And, and different sizes of uh, um, uh, works. Uh, you know? So like some brothers may have a higher calling within the ministry versus a brother that's you know supposed to do charity versus a brother that uh versus a brother that prophesied uh, um that prophesied you uh, know we're all part of the body and as you can see a body is has different lengths and measurements of its matter Come all right the beautiful, fingers beautiful. The, you got the pinky you got the head you got the arms you got the legs you know you got and then you got the internal things that are not seen okay which are the organs all right the intestines all those things are very beneficial though all right the veins all right there's a lot of things so it's not about the the next man it's about you because it says work out your own salvation with fear and trembling so you gotta just you know look within yourself and ask for the most high to um give you that um exam um what did you say that you um said that everybody should get it's a lot of yourself it's a um you ask the most high for further oh, 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 oh yeah. yeah you ask the heavenly father and the son for the expansion of yourself there you go that's what i was trying to say yeah mm -hmm. so you need an expansion of yourself so you can understand what is you know the most High got you to do what what part of the office you are you know uh, and, and that's pretty of true I mean, that's your problem, man. Yeah, call, call, let your yourself, <laughs> man. But yeah, that, that's that's what it is, man. You know what I'm saying? So you have to ha understand an uh, expansion of yourself because you don't know yourself. You know what I'm saying? The best of your ability, but you want to be able to grow in the grace thereof to understand yourself, man. All right? And praising the most high, man, because it gives you a change when you get this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. You're not the old man that you was, like, you know, really weeks before weeks ago man you're growing in this thing spiritually and you're aging spiritually man and that's the true value of a of a man of Yahweh Shem Yahshua man all right is the one that has this wisdom knowledge and understanding man because in the times that we're coming in you need that to be preserved and to be stable in the time but that's why we're doing work because work increases your faith all right as much work as you do that's how much faith 
you know, is implemented to you because faith and works go hand in hand. And I got a precept real quick. Luke chapter 18, verse 7, and shall not your how about Shemuel Shai avenge his own elect, which cry day and night unto him? And how do we cry? We cry through these videos that we do and going out on the highways and hedges by the um, chief place of concourse, okay? So when we're crying out to the Most High, it's through that, it's through prayer, okay? Even our own body makes intercessions, all right? The spirit makes intercessions, man. So we're, 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 we're groaning, man. Just like in the time of Egypt when we groaned and cried out to the Heavenly Father. So we're doing it now, okay? We just hope to endure to the end to be part of that number. It says, which cried day and night unto him. So that's a diligent thing, all right? Though he bear long with them, I tell you that he will avenge them speedily. Nevertheless, when the Son of Man cometh, which is Yahweh Shai, that's the title for Yahweh Shai, shall he find faith on the earth. And that's what it was saying, you know, before, you'll be saved by the works and the faith when you believe, man. Shall he find faith on the earth? So if you give it your all and you live for this truth, this ministry, you put your life on the line and you 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 give up everything in this world for your help by outside and you seek him with your whole heart, which is your love, which is your mind, then that means, you know, you basically have a chance of salvation, man. You know, because you got to have it all the way to the end, but that gives you a strong connection to the Heavenly Father, man. All right, just like how people connect themselves to their cars, they connect themselves to their houses, they connect themselves to a, a woman, okay, in a relationship, all right? We see Jake all around in this society finding something to have a gain for, but we're working for the kingdom of heaven, man, for the inheritance of the new bodies and a new rulership, man, all right? So that's what we, you gotta make your calling and election sure. Okay, so you got to do all that you can in this grace period as much as you can so that way you can please the Heavenly Father so that way the Most High will remember you in the time of trouble. What did um, it was Habakkuk or Ezra say? Um, uh, what is it called? In thy wrath, remember mercy. One of the prophets said that. In thy wrath, remember mercy because he understood that Yahweh Bashim is going to bring great wrath because he's judging people for their wickedness that they do, you know, that they commit without considering the most high in his word man they they, they follow their, their their um father the devil man all right and the devil what does he do he casts the words of the heavenly father behind him that's how he's able to deceive people he speak on his own vain opinions man so the most high is going to destroy this devil and anyone that's joined onto this devil shall be thrust through so that means wow. you're going you're going to suffer the death of an edomite man all right yeah, yeah come on that's right that's you right that, no no uh, oh okay but yeah man that that was just, you know just one of them i wanted to bring out but you know it's all good we can do we can do mercy and wrath are with him um he is mighty to forgive and for our displeasure it was it was a um it was a um per, like he was praying to the most so he said in in thy wrath remember mercy let me see if i can get it Okay, I got it. This is the book, it was Habakkuk. This is the book of Habakkuk, chapter 3 and verse 2. It reads, O Yahweh Shem Shai, I have heard thy speech and was afraid. Okay, and how do you hear? You know, faith cometh by hearing of the word, but how are you going to hear? Through the prophets, the men that the Most High set up. They're going to be speaking the, the words of the Heavenly Father. It says, um, O Yahweh Shem Shai, revive thy works in the midst of the years, in the midst of the years make known and wrath remember mercy so in wrath remember mercy that's how bad it's gonna get man it's gonna be the greatest of all time all right tribulation wrath everything because this is the the most high is gonna show out man all right so it's gonna be things that people cannot comprehend and we already see it to this day people can't comprehend this, this truth they got the spirit of slumber so imagine when the most high unleashes wrath man all right, they couldn't even understand his mercy, man. God. So how can they understand when the wrath comes in? But as it's written, they knew not until the flood came. God. So there's gonna be a time when you're gonna know. That's right. All right. It's, it's like your, it's like your parents speaking to you. Hey, go wash the dishes. Go wash the dishes. Okay. Go wash the dishes. Okay. But you don't do it. And then when they come home and you didn't wash the dishes, <laughs> that wrath is coming. They're not saying wash the dishes. Boom. Do, 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 you know? That's that wrath coming. And it, so like, 
pretty much, man, we're like the mouthpiece of the Lord. We're warning you. Hey, repent. 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 And then not repenting. And when that day comes, it's going to be straight wrath, man. You know? This is the merciful, graceful period right now. The calm before the storm. Sooner or later, the doors are going to shut. The doors of mercy is going to shut. And that's it. Everyone you... Like everyone you knew in, uh, uh, in elementary school, high school, middle school, you know, you work on your social media and you've been pushing out the truth and they seen it and they despised it, they ignored it, okay, cool. You know now, you've been marked. Everyone who scouted and marked when we were in the highways and hedges, good, you're marked, you know. Those who didn't take heed and did the will, you're marked. After that, the doors of mercy closed. If you didn't repent and didn't get back to the Lord, that's on you. We did our part. Come on, I got a precept real quick. Matthew chapter 24 and verse 22. And except those days should be shortened, there should no flesh be saved. That's how wicked this devil is, man. If any time, you know, prolongs, all right, this devil will destroy everything, man, out of existence. That's how wicked and how Speedily, this devil got to get out of rulership, man, because this devil is so wicked that all he does is enforce wickedness, which is death and destruction, man. All right, continue. It says, there should no flesh be saved, but for the elect's sake, those days shall be shortened. So the Most High, Yahweh Shem Yashai is speeding up the time. And we can see that by these prophecies, you know, springing forth, man. And I, I can finish this article, though, on this food shortage. Continue. It says, Meeker said, we cannot solve food and security on a national scale anywhere. While the next few years will likely be difficult, we can coordinate a global response. And that's what they are thinking that they can do to solve that problem of the famine and of these conflicts and uproar to, and to, to enforce a global response. And, and what is that? That's them coming down with great wrath, man. Revelations 12 and 12. I'm gonna bring that out real quick. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 12 and verse 12. Therefore rejoice ye heavens and ye that dwell in them. All right, so where your treasure is, there will your heart be. And your heart is your love, which is your mind. So that's why we're working for the spiritual gain, okay? The, the inheritance of the new kingdom to come. Not this carnality, all right, that you see here. A car, a house, some, some females. Mm -hmm. All right, continue, it says, Woe to the inhabitants of the earth, which is destruction. Woe means destruction. And of the sea, for the devil has come down unto you, having great wrath, because he knoweth that he hath but a short time. God. So yeah, he, he like uh, he's gonna come to us. At, uh, he's gonna come to us. At, at, he's gonna come to us like a, a warring lion, man. You know. So he's gonna fabricate uh, a famine. He's gonna fabricate uh, 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 mass shootings. He's gonna fabricate and he's gonna to try to demonize us as well at the same time. Come on. Little by little, he's gonna fabricate this and demonize us. And then all that's gonna to come together. And then that's when they're gonna demonize the prophets, man. They're gonna demonize us. We're gonna be on billboards. We're gonna be on all news outlets. You know, we're gonna be on articles on the news apps. We're gonna be uh we're gonna be the main focus for the rest of the ride. Before the kingdom, God. you know, it's gonna get crazy, brothers. You know, so oh, you, wait, you got more on that? No, that's it. Con, but it's a reminder since we're about to enter into a, a famine that we never witnessed within our lifetime. We we're gonna witness a famine, and just remember, stay in the spirit and fear the Lord because that's the beginning of wisdom. But a, a reminder, a precept that you could keep within your heart within your love okay psalms chapter 33 verse 18 behold the eye of yahabba shema shai is upon them that fear him upon them that hope in his mercy so we hope that the lord has mercy on us and he's only focusing on the ones who fear him okay but this is the part right here verse 19 to deliver their soul from death which will, which will be a lot of death uh, and, and destruction is about to come here in America and all over the world. So to deliver their soul from death and to keep them alive in famine. God. To keep them alive in famine. So we got uh, less than 70 days until they announce 
to see if they're gonna have more wheat or no more wheat. So they they warned America and, and, and other countries 10 weeks of wheat shortage all over the world, all over the world. So 10 weeks left all over the world of wheat shortage. After that, Lord's will, it'll be no more because these people need to witness the power of the Lord. These people need to be humble, man. Uh -huh. And nope. that would be a perfect humbling, man. That's right. Because the only ones that's that's humbling now is the ones, the brothers in this troop, man. All right? We've been humbling. So it's going to be nice to see everybody get get humbled, man. That's right. To oh, be put man. in their place, man. To be put in their place, man. You know? So I hope this class was edified to the elect. Call Halal. Yeah, how about Shabbat 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 Peace and salutations to the Akim who are pushing out this work with truth and sincerity. Till next time we say Shalom. DTA, DTA Ababa Ball soon. soon.